Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect 3. Last time I finished up at Grism Academy and talked to a few people aboard the Normandy. Today I'm going to finish talking to my squad and crew on the Normandy, and I also plan on returning to the Citadel and meeting an old friend. Now, I noticed that I'm pretty sure I left my Prothean friend in here, the, um, the port cargo hold, and he's not there, so I still have a bit of looking around to do, I think, so I'm gonna have to probably check these areas and figure out where my Prothean went. You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. <laughs> well, that was kind of cute and goofy. Oh, let's see, do you have anything else new you can tell me? You know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> oh my gosh, is, is that what this, is that what, what's going on here? You still let me see. He still look like he got a little bit of eyeshadow and mascara, but maybe it's not as bad as before, like she says. I don't know. Do we need to talk, Commander? Oh, no. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay, gosh. I always, I'm not trying to stir up anything. You seem nice enough. All right, well, let me go find what happened to my Prothean and see if we can find... So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Ah. Oh. I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra-light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, it's just so much padding. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad these two are back. I forgot that uh, that uh, Donnelly and uh, Daniels are down here now after reinstating them or whatever. Let's talk to them. It's great to be back. It's great to have Feels you back. good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Oh, I'm so th these guys are a couple of characters. I love them. Nothing to report. Nothing. Commander. Ah, uh, okay. Well, still, very glad to have him back. I know they'll have goofy things to say throughout the game. Need anything, Commander? Um, oh, let's ask him what he thinks of our returning engineers over here. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly's dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're kind of used to being a bit more loosey-goosey and Cerberus, huh? All right, what about Daniels? How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Awesome. I'm glad. What about... Edie. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. That's the problem. See, I go back and forth with Beatty. That's the problem. Everyone likes her. You can't trust her. And it's like she hasn't done anything to earn my distrust, yet I'm still distrusting for some reason. I'm strange. All right, I think I might have gotten these two. Well, I think I've gotten this style, but I'll check anyway. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. 
Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Oh, let's make sure it stays that way. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Alright, well I think I had that before and... or got that little bit of dialogue before, so sorry about the repeat, Carry on, but... Alice. Aye, aye, ma'am. I don't know, it was kind of nice to hear it again, and kind of wonder if that's something that won't come up later if the core gets overloaded, if I won't accidentally, like, vaporize everyone in engineering. I don't know, it just might be something worth paying attention to. <laughs> oh. Aww, they're talking about me after I leave the room, aren't they so cute? Alright, well let's see what's uh, what's lurking down here. Alright, so Javik is here now, so let's uh, have a chat. Um, let's have a ch Let's have a chat. Um, let's have a ch- Talk to me! <laughs> okay, um, if you didn't hear my mechanical keyboard furiously clicking, um, Javik has absolutely nothing to say to me at the moment, um, so don't know what his problem is, but, um, alright, so one more place to check out, which is the shuttle bay here, and then I'll be heading back to the citadel again. Oh, I need to maybe actually make sure all my weapons are modified, too. Alright, Cortez. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Yeah, well, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Ma'am. Ma'am. Alright, well then, let's see. I figured if Jack is gonna be aboard the Normandy, she's gotta be in here. I've really, really overlooked where she could be. All right, James. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. Mm, Jack and James, I don't really, hmm. I don't see them together. I don't really see Jack with anyone, though. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Uh -huh. I guess it's kind of a common last name. Hey. Hey. All right. Let's see. So he mentioned Jack. Makes me think he's had to. Wow. Okay, I missed that too. Makes me think he's had to talk to Jack, and I, maybe I just. I guess I've just missed her. So I'm gonna look around the Normandy and see if I can't find her. And if not, I'll be on the Citadel. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so I don't think Jack is going to be aboard the Normandy. She's probably off with her students, which would make sense. So I'm on the Citadel, and apparently I forgot to talk to an old friend here, which, if I do recall correctly, she was the bartender in Mass Effect 2 that had a bit more of a rough personality than most Asari. Let me uh, confirm my suspicion or my my theory here. Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. 
So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. I have? Yeah. Uh. Mm. Matriarch Benazio was, um, was her mother. And, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. Uh, what? <laughs> wow, well, that was, uh, that was kind of a doozy there. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see why you guys are telling me that I forgot to talk to someone over here at the bar. Wow, okay, so this is... Daddy Liara? How did... How did you end up with Matriarch Benezi? What? Her father? You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she's never even met me. Sorry. If you were human, you'd both be called the mother. Regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. <laughs> Well, that's uh, that's a different. Uh, that's definitely something I've never heard before. But that was interesting. You should talk. It doesn't <laughs> Anthro anthropo. Like the way she said it, just so smooth. Like she'd been waiting for that one for years. All right, you should talk. That's your that's your kid. It might be the last time. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benazia ran off before the kid was born. Besides. This isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a human commander that used to work for Cerberus. Sound. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now. I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Yeesh. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear. We're clear. You should come clean with her. It'd be better for everyone. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Wow. Wow. You know, it's kind of cool. She can be a matriarch and a father at the same time. But, you know, that's why she said, Hey, I'm not human, aren't I? Wow, that... That was pretty cool. I can't... Imagine Liara's parents getting together, though, in no circumstances. That just what a pair, Benezia and the rough and the rough bartender over there. Mm, I really don't see it. So I'm wondering, does the dialogue of the crew change each time I go to the north or the Citadel, or does it stay? I've noticed way? many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. <laughs> Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. Uh... The Krogan... what? Ooh... Ooh... Don't go to Tachanka and watch a couple of Krogans making out, I guess. I have spoken with many Batarian refugees here, Shepard. It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Oh, yeah, it seems like the Batarians have been a little less aggressive, the ones I've talked to anyway. Excuse me, Shepard. I'm looking through files and videos of human behavior. I have 1.24 million windows open, but your request is important to me. Please hold. 1.24 million? Gosh, my computer just has a spaz when I, I have more than like 10 open. <laughs> is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. Put some clothes on and it wouldn't be an issue then. Jeez. Well, I'm really glad that I talked to um, Papa Liara over there. And I guess I should talk to... Can I talk to 
Liara herself? Yeah, I can. Oh, we're having a sit down. That bartender over there? Uh oh. The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. Um. Uh, well, she's the shadow broker. Of course you do. I never get to surprise you with anything. <laughs> I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Man... Make Liara talk to her, it's your choice. Man... I don't know. I mean, like, I really feel like, you know, we, we don't know what's going to happen with this whole Reaper thing. I mean, the Citadel was attacked before. Why wouldn't it be attacked again? You know, there's a really real chance everyone here is going to be dead, you know, throughout the course of the game. And I don't know. I feel like Liara should at least just, you know, say hi. I mean, they don't have to have, like, this big emotional moment, but... You know, when you live for a thousand years, it probably doesn't hurt to see where you come from. I mean, you, go. Go talk to her. Liara. Oh, fine. Wow, that was easy. I just had to say your name. Gosh, if I could always get what I wanted so easily, life would be great. <laughs> Alright, well, let's follow him up here. Oh, war asset. A sorry second fleet. What? Come on. I can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. <laughs> I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. Oh boy, well... I think Liara is definitely her father's daughter there. Well, I feel like I did a good thing. I don't know. I kind of thought there'd be a little bit more banter there. All right. Well, I have a few things I need to do on the Citadel, including seeing Ashley and seeing another friend. So I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, I'm in the hospital right now to go see Ashley, but before I do, I think I have something to turn in here. I found this Metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad to have been of help. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. What? No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows oh. for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course. We'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel space. Okay, well, yeah, I spent, um, uh, I went back and bought that after, like, it was in my Spectre requisitions or something. So I went back and re-bought that. I think I might have another turn-in around here somewhere. I guess this is it with the big, since it's highlighted, with the big square diamond on her body. Mm -hmm. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Awesome. I feel pretty good about turning those in. Glad I didn't miss them. I was worried about finding who to turn the quests into, but thankfully they highlight it for you. Tell Matriarch Athena that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. <laughs> no, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. Hmm, that Matriarch Athena. Hmm. All right, Ashley, you're out of bed. You're looking good. You're looking fine. Let's talk. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. Yeah, well, and especially considering it took you three years after the fact, after I got it, <clears throat> uh, being a Spectre. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? I think you need to get your ass in the Normandy and help me fight some Reapers, but now that you're a big fancy specter, you won't have time for it. It's window dressing. 
Yeah, I'm never sure of Udina's motives. Seems a little too convenient. Well, gee, thanks for your support. <laughs> I don't need Udina to tell me you're an exceptional soldier. Nor should you. I guess so. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? Good question. I guess that's up to Adina. Sure. Let me know. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Oh, that's good. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. Oh, that's... You know, because Ashley's so connected to all of her family. That's really, really just really bad news. Well, I, I guess I could say it's just a start, but I've already kind of been a little sassy, so I'll be nice. Everyone's affected. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. Poor Ashley. I didn't know she was going through that. I feel kind of... actually feel kind of bad for being a little catty with her. Oh, man. Well, okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to do in the hospital, so I have one last person to meet with. I'll be back. Alrighty, there she is in the corner just over there. Let's get pushed by a space bug and then go talk to her. Shepard, there you are. Yeah, all the way over here. Listen, honey. Hi there, Miranda. Commander Shepard. It's been far too long. We live in interesting times. Indeed. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Uh. <sighs> It was devastating. We'll fight back. We'll fight back. We always do. I'm all right. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. Oh, you know something. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. Yeah, are we friends or enemies what right now? What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We getting, we're kind of putting the cart before the ho horse real quick here. You're sitting here talking about your sister. Bitch, you still work for Cerberus. What are you doing? Can I trust you? You've got to know something. You talking about your sister? I don't even care about that. What the hell's going on with your elusive man, man? What, what are you? Okay, what can I do? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Then why'd you call me out? Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. 
Okay, well, why did you call me down here then? You just came over here to wiggle your ass in front of my screen and... Oh, my sister's missing, but it's fine. Mm. Like, Miranda, you don't even make sense. Tell me more. You will. Um... Okay, this is the most awkward conversation ever. Alright, here we go. Cerberus. Let's talk about that. That's the elephant in the room right now. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. Oh. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Uh, what? <laughs> I feel like I've missed like a big chunk of conversation or something, so I guess Miranda told the elusive man to shove it somewhere between Mass Effect 2 and 3. I feel like I either was completely oblivious to something or didn't pay attention to something or missed something because... As far as I know, I mean, like, well, okay, I guess she's done with Cerberus. All right, well, that's that. I thought that this conversation would be more about what has happened to her and Cerberus, but sounds like she's done with them, which is good, which means why isn't she coming with me? Um... It's like not even an option, like, uh, so come with me so we can save the galaxy. <laughs> All right, your father. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. So you're just gonna throw a couple of crumbs and drag me along until you actually need something? You're a strange broad. Alright, so what have you been doing? It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's alright. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Okay, so that fills me in a little bit. So she walked away from Cerberus for reasons and has only had one run-in with the elusive man since. Okay. All right, leads on the Citadel. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Okay, well, this kind of, frankly, seemed kind of pointless. You just came out here and, like, yeah, I, I, I need some help, but I'll let you know when I know something. It's like, let me know when you know something solid, like, whatever. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Boy, that I, I felt so... Okay, Codex updated. Maybe I need to look at that. Uh, what would it be under known associates? Admiral Stephen oh, Hackett is a here. decorated... Okay, Miranda Lawson is a high-ranking former Cerberus operative and a human biotic. Lawson headed Project Lazarus, the Cerberus operation that brought Commander Shepard back from the brink of death after the first Normandy was destroyed. Lawson is herself an example of the achievements possible through genetic engineering. She was created in 2150 through manipulation of her father's DNA. Her entire physical and mental composition was deliberately engineered, including a longer lifespan and a superior immune system. Lawson accompanied Commander Shepard on the maiden voyage of the Normandy SR2 and was part of the crew responsible for the defeat of the Collectors. She has since left Cerberus. Her current whereabouts are unknown. That didn't tell me anything! Oh my gosh! Almost hit exit game. I was gonna just like rage quit over my complete lack of knowing anything that's going on with Miranda. Arg, alright. Well, I think I'm gonna be done with Mass Effect 3 for now. I mostly came here to talk to Miranda, but got quite a few things done.
as well. I think I'm. I think I still need to explore the citadel some more. I don't know if there's. I think there's still some stuff I missed. I need to check around. But um, oh, that's my alarm. So um, not sure what exactly I'll do next time. I have a ton of missions here and. Um, like I said, I still think I have some stuff to do on the Citadel, so I'll figure it out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Mass Effect 3, and I'll see you with another video soon. Bye for now.